Explain the, explain the test interf uh, chess interplay interface, please. Okay, so this is a two-player chess game. Basically, we have we have simulated um, a real chess game. We have two gloves, and accelerometer keeps track of the tilt of each hand. So with a tilt, we can determine the position of the mouse, and we have contact sensors to pick up a piece and to drop a piece. Uh -huh. And all the logic of the chess game is handled in a C program. And the MATLAB GUI just renders the images. Okay, it's handled in a C program over on the microcontroller. Yeah. And then, then the MATLAB interface renders the pieces. So, okay, so let me see that you start the game. White's going to go. Okay. Yes. It's already started. So you, so you, and so you, now I'm going to watch you pick up a piece by rocking your hand here. And then we go over here, and you're moving your knight out. Hmm. Do you want to do a castle? Uh, yeah, a castle. So, I'm sorry. See, also, then you can see the difference between the functionality. If you pick up a piece, um, so you're moving it around. Uh -huh. if, you dr if you drop it back in its original square, it claims it's. Uh, sorry, uh, debounce there. Claims that it's a. Uh, Claims it's an invalid move, but it's still your turn. It still allows you to. It doesn't process that as a move that you made. So okay. here, we're gonna pick it up, uh, place it over here, which is okay. So uh -huh. now the knight's over there, mm -hmm. and so yeah. now black is is moving. So, so basically, the way we encode all this information is we have uh, several message types. I believe about 13 message types, and. They each have their, their own function, and uh, MLAB will parse the packets from, from the C code. And uh, it'll tell you where the X and Y coordinates of the cursor are, which piece is moving, if there's a piece picked up, and etc. That's pretty fluid. It's working quite nicely. Um, so a few of the interesting um, the tasks we had to handle were, I guess, the most re uh, the largest one we experienced recently was... Uh, so MATLAB processes the images slower than we expected it to, so it's actually possible that there can be a delay in the way that, uh, I guess from the time delay from when the cursor picks up a piece and when you actually render the cursor. So we actually have separate ways to uh, record the location of the cursor as you pick up a piece or when you drop a piece and to actually render the cursor. That way all the images, oh, so all the pieces are placed in the location you think they are, and the cursor is still to follow the fluid movement of the accelerometers. Interesting. So here I'm going to, um, as you see, Black just did uh, Castle. I'm going to Castle as well. I'm going to move my king to G1. Oh, yeah. Apparently there's a bug in the castling feature, uh, but you see Black on Black starting to work properly. And uh, the, the way we handled the capture was we would actually turn upon to oh, become okay. invisible. Yeah. And so when, when a reset occurs, so if I would press reset, we would just 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 return all pieces to the original position and make all pieces visible. I see. So 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 you don't have to handle object deletion and and, no. and creation. Yeah. They're all they're all yeah, there so and you just make them invisible so or visible. The, there's always the thirty pieces on the GUI and and like we decided to design them this way so it'd be more efficient. So there'd be no like re redrawing or the deleting of images. Oh, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, I guess also a note about the the serial connection we have here. We tried to, um, you know, MATLAB uh, has a number of toolboxes for processing uh, serial connections. And so in order to make the system a little more robust, we have it so that MATLAB can automatically detect what uh, communication port the USB device is bound to and be able to automatically open a serial port to that object. And if there are multiple serial objects, it actually gives you a list of all the objects and gives you the option for which port to open. That way you don't need to have to manually go to your device manager and figure out which one it is every single gotcha. time. Very good. So do a little bit more manipulation here. Okay. Um, so you started, you started, restarted the game. Yeah, I'm, sort of the, I'm going to capture a pawn here. Okay. Um, so as you can see also from the top of the screen, uh, if you want to wait before you pick up these, um, it actually displays the information of the last capture for just, again, additional information for the user. So uh, right now it reads, white pawn captured black pawn at E5, black's turn. And presumably this was also useful for debugging. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so information. And we, we actually created a UR test program. So we had, we had a sample uh, chessboard, which just, uh, it was just, 
an 8x8 uh, character array yeah. with ones for white pieces, twos for black pieces, and zeros for empty tiles. So basically, you could em you could enter a UART command like so zero one, zero one to zero so two, and it would move the first white pawn to the next location. So that way, we are we are able to test checkmate in check and other um, castling and other chess functionalities. So you could do the chess functionality without having the yeah. graphics coming yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. I don't Thank know you. What it is, but